Now I want to introduce Roger Waters, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Gracias. I was here a couple of years ago, um, and it was an amazing evening. Had the hair standing up on the back of my neck and on my arms all night. And this year, um, they asked if I would come and perform to you guys tonight. And I felt extremely honored that uh, Bob and Lee should ask me that. And uh, I was immediately struck with a strange um, idea, which was that I would love to do that, but I would like to be given the opportunity to try and put together a band of you guys, which is why it's taking us a while to set up here. It's why I'm rambling on, and I shall for another few minutes if I don't fall over my cables. So they said, what are you talking about? I said, I want to put together a band of wounded warriors to perform for you tonight. So, in the way of these things, they had a committee meeting and decided that it was a frightfully good idea. So I took my old friend, George Edward Smith, a guitar player, and we went to Walter Reed uh, to check it out. And um, we were put in touch with a lovely man who works there with the vets called Arthur Bloom, who runs an organization at Walter Reed called Music Corps. Yeah, yeah, we should. Yeah. So what they do is they teach these guys to play musical instruments or to recover their desire and expertise on musical instruments that they played before going to war. And uh, it's proven remarkably uh, therapeutic and helps their rehabilitation, as you will witness in a minute when we get these guys out here. Um, so that's the beginning of the story. I'm just going to check on my cables. Wow, I might have to tell jokes. <laughs> Trust me, you don't want to be... No, that's not something you want to see. Um, Whoops. So, GE and I went down, and we rehearsed in a tiny room. It was about from here to that base bin, maybe a little bigger. And the guys were coming in in tribs and drabs, because they all have appointments, uh, medical appointments, or this appointment or that appointment. And I said to Arthur, Arthur, what is going on here? Why aren't the guys in here rehearsing? He said, they're in the army or the Marines, one or the other. So they can't just come and go as they please. You've got to understand that this is a military establishment. I say, okay, okay, no need to shout, Arthur. Just trying to help. So, in ones and twos, we sat there and we started playing, you know, our acoustic guitars and chatting. And it was a, it was a wonderful, wonderful experience. And a few weeks later, uh, GE and I went back again, and we did a kind of similar thing. And we had, by this time, decided that we were going to, what, what songs we might do. We were going to do two songs from a band I used to be in called Pink Floyd. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, anyway, you'll hear one of them in a minute. And one song from, uh, from Bob Dylan called Knocking on Heaven's Door. Yeah. Um, which we as a band have warmed to, I have to tell you. Uh, anyway, the second time we were visiting, we were sitting there in a larger room, uh, and I was waiting for some of the guys to come in so we could rehearse. And I started uh, strumming and then singing a song that I had learned to do at a, a benefit for the family of Levon Helm, if any of you remember him. The great Levon Helm. And this was a song off an album that he made, uh, his last but one album, and it was called Dirt Farmer. And the song that I was singing, yeah, a great album, probably the, one of the best albums made in the last few years. 
Um, and I love this song very much. And I could I hear the faint rustle and flap of ears pricking up around me as it comes. And sure enough, after I'd left, I got a phone call from Arthur saying, um, hey, Roger, the guys have all been talking. They want to do Wide River to Cross, which is the song that I was singing. And you will understand why when you hear these guys perform it later. Um, what else have I got to tell you? I shouldn't give that away. It's a bit of a surprise at the end. I think very little. How, how, long, how are we getting on, guys? Are you nearly ready? We're, they're done. Fantastic. I got a thumbs up. Okay. Now, I have to have this crib sheet and because um, although I know all these guys' names, I don't know all their surnames. And I don't know if they're army or marines. Okay, so and it's really important that we get this right because I'm going to bring them on now. So where's Will? Come on, man. Will Cook, army. Eric Hunter, army. Brandon Long, Marines. Josh Cawthorn, U.S. Marine Corps. Nathan Kalwicki. Good man. Greg Lohman, who works for Music Corps at Walter Reed. Lander Chapel, Army. Rex Thorpe, Army. Arthur Bloom, ladies and gentlemen, who runs the Music Hall Project. <laughs> Daniel Kelly, Army. <laughs> Eddie Clavin, <laughs> Army. <laughs> John Joyce, U.S. Marines. Retired. <laughs> Captain Eric Johnson, Army. <laughs> and last but not least, Timothy Donnelly, US Marine Corps. after 40 years of rock and roll profoundly deaf so I have to put these in my ear <laughs> one two one two one two oh there I am so what do you think guys are we ready mm. Roger yeah. <laughs> okay here we go
feel From a coasty way A smile from a veil
Lord, take this badge off of me Cause I can't use it anymore It's getting dark to dark to see I feel like I'm knocking on heaven's door I can relax now because I'm handing over the microphone to my friend Tim. Yeah! And we're going to do Wide River to Cross. This is our last number. Thank you so much. You've been so kind.
cannot be performed without my bass working, so hang on, just one second. <laughs> I mean, it could be, but it would make me one miserable soldier, I promise you.
got a wine, a wine river to cross. I've got a wine, a wine river.